site here, it used to be a kind of a wastewater and the garbage dumped area where almost the uh, government of Sharjah started to purify the site some time ago. Uh, and therefore, um, the area started to attract many local and migrant birds uh, as a result. Well, it's a very important place. Uh, it's a very unique opportunity to have an education facility linked in with a protected area. Design is made through uh, different forces, and I think the site in this condition was one of the strongest forces that we had. The nature, the environment, and the birds, the wetlands that uh, we had to uh, kind of deal with and the idea was what was the strategy that we could be as sensible to minimize the impact of the built form into this nature. We try as much as possible to integrate the site by really merging these projects on the site and you are almost with this complete facade you are merged in this kind of wonderful atmospheres of birds and there, you are in, in their world. <laughs> The main objective for the center is to have a bridge connected between the biodiversity inside and the people outside. I'm really glad to see that how, I would say, this kind of unwanted urban zone or within our neighborhood, it has turned into an educational place where people are coming, kids are coming here to get inspired and to learn about the the natural environment. It is in purpose to say, uh, look, we are observers. The nature will maintain, and we have to really be careful taking these responsibilities, maintain it, protect it, and then make sure that goes to the next generation. <laughs>